Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix something that drives me and many others crazy. What am I talking about? I want to display month and day names in a pivot table slicer in chronological order. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. And just so that you know where I'm going with this, this is the finished version of what I need to create. It's a pivot table showing quantity sold by product and location for excellent ice cream. So for example, they sold just over 10,000 litres of banana ice cream to customers based in California. The slicers enable me to filter by month or day. So I can look at, for example, January's sales. Or I could look at quarter one's sales. Or I could look at the sales just for the weekend. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that when I initially added the slicers to the worksheet, the month names and day names were sorted alphabetically rather than chronologically. And when it comes to dates, most people's brains work chronologically. So you want the slicers to show January to December or Monday to Sunday. This video assumes that you already know how to load data into the data model and how to create relationships between tables. However, what I will show you as part of the video is how to create the extra columns needed to sort alphabetically. This is a partly completed version of the same file. In the data model, I have three tables. The ice cream sales table contains just over 20,000 rows of data where each row relates to a sales transaction. We have the order ID, the date of the sale and the quantity, but we don't have the flavour of the ice cream, nor do we have the location of the store that the transaction took place in. That information is stored in the products table and the stores table. I've linked the tables together using appropriate fields and I've created the pivot table. To create the slices, I need to create four additional columns. And to do that, I'm going to use the query editor. So I'll click on data, get data, launch power query editor. And then click on the ice cream sales query on the left hand side. Now, the first column I want to create is to display the names of the months from the order date column. So I'll click on the order date column and select add column, date, month, name of month. And that gives us the name of each month of the value in the order date column. The next column I want to create is to show the day names of the order date. So with the order date still selected, Click on Add Column, Date, Day, Name of Day. Now, these two columns will be used for the labels on the slices, which I can create now. So if I close the query editor down and keep the changes, click into the pivot table and select Pivot Table Analyze, Insert Slicer. From the Ice Cream Sales table, I'll put a tick against day name and month name and click OK. And here are my two slices. I can position them anywhere I want to. I'll just put them underneath the pivot table for the moment. But you can see that the day names are alphabetical and the month names are alphabetical. To have the day and month names in chronological order, I need to create two more columns. So I need to go back into the query editor. Data, get data, launch Power Query Editor. And click on Ice Cream Sales again. The first column I'm going to create is going to contain the month numbers 1 to 12. And the other column will display the day number. Not 1 to 31, but 0 to 6, where 0 is Monday, 1 is Tuesday, and so on. Yes, I know logic would say 1 to 7, but as far as day numbers are concerned, Power Query starts with a 0. So make sure I select the Order Date column and click on Add Column, Date, Month, Month. 
and that creates a new column called month. I can rename that to month number if I wanted to just by double clicking on the column heading at the top and changing it. But it displays the month number from the order date column. Reselect the order date column and select add column, date, day, day of week. And that contains a number between zero and six, depending which day of the week it is. Now, these two columns are the key to getting month names and day names in the slicers sorted correctly. Once I've created these two columns, I need to go back into the data model. So I'll close the query editor down and keep the changes and click on Power Pivot Manage. That opens up the data model. Now you can see that those extra columns that I've created, all four of them have automatically been added to the data model. I'll select the month name column, click on the sort by column button on the ribbon and set the by column to be month number. So what I'm saying is sort the month name column, not alphabetically, but sort it based on the month number and click OK. Although it doesn't change how the data is displayed, you're telling Excel that if you use the month name column in the pivot table, either in the rows or columns section or as a slicer, instead of displaying the month names alphabetically, display them in month number order. And I'll do the same with the day name column. Click on day name, click on sort by column and sort the day name column based on the value in the day of the week column. All I need to do now is close the data model window, hit refresh, and the slicers are now sorted chronologically. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. You can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.